Okay, so here's our challenge today, 6 minus 3 divided by 6 minus 3, and a lot of students might be saying, okay, this is the easiest challenge, mister, we have subtraction, we have division, so right now, choose one option, what do you think is a correct, A, B, and C, and we will check our answers in the end of the video, I give 99% that you solve this question absolutely wrong, because this is a very tricky challenge, and a lot of students do this common mistake. First of all, I want to start with this first interpretation. So we have 6 minus 3 divided by 6 minus 3. So here is our challenge. And a lot of students say, okay, we have a subtraction right here and we have absolutely the same subtraction right here. So on the left, on the right, we have absolutely the same thing. So right here, if we subtract, we have 3. If we subtract on the right hand side, we have also 3. And with this division in the middle, because we still have this division, our answer is looks like 1. So 3 divided by 3 equal to 1. This is option A. So on the first side, correct answer is option A. A lot of students say, yeah, this is absolutely correct. And let's go to the next uh, to the next question. Let's solve this test. Let's solve next challenges. But I want to say that in math, we can't solve our challenges randomly because this is a very bad thing. You should know what is the correct property, correct rule, correct, correct um, order, for example. Yeah, and in this challenge, we should know what is the correct order of operation because in math, we can't solve our challenges wherever we want. For example, we have equation, we should solve the question according to discriminant, according to roots right here, yeah, but in this case we should solve it according to order of operation because it's really bad thing when you solve these challenges randomly, which it's really bad thing in terms of math. So in this second interpretation, I want to rewrite this challenge, I want to rewrite it divided by 6 divided by 3 and let's solve this challenge right now according to, for example, PEMDAS order of operation or maybe you prefer BODMAS order of operation, doesn't matter in this, exactly in this moment, okay? So, for example, I choose this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation, so all, all um, like the most popular calculators works according to PEMDAS order of operation and in this case we are solve it according to PEMDAS order of operation and we will check with this one, maybe one is a correct answer, but let's, let's look at it, let's check it. First of all, this PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom, so the highest priority in parentheses, then we should evaluate the expression uh, with exponents, maybe 2 squared, 2 cube, yeah, the next step multiplication division part, and the last step is addition and subtraction part. So higher position, higher priority, lower position, lower priority. So right now let's scan what do we have in our challenge. We have subtraction, we have division, where do we have these elements? So division right here, and we have subtraction right here. We don't have addition, we don't have multiplication, we don't have exponent, we don't have parentheses. And as I told before, higher position, higher priority. And it implies that division is a first step because we a division is upper than a subtraction. So it has the higher position according to the PEMDAS order of operation. So we should divide First of all, we should divide, where do we have, of course, this division sign? We have division sign right here in the middle, and we apply this division sign only to these, to these two values in the middle, okay? So we have 6 minus, and six, 3 divided by 6 is equal to 3 over 6, or let's write it as a fraction, so 1 half, minus... 3. So as you can see, after this step, so we complete this division step, we can easily go to the next step, but saying in other words, um, so this is obvious that you don't need this order of operation right now, because we have a basic subtraction, we don't have like a complicated expression where we need this order of operation a lot, we have basic subtraction, so we can easily complete this subtraction step, and we don't need our order of operation, because in this case, we have 6 minus uh, 1 half, this is 0 0.5, maybe you don't know about it, and minus 3. Let's subtract all of it, and I guess you, you know that this is equal to 2.5. This is a correct answer to this challenge. And of course, uh, we have this option C, and it looks like this is a correct answer to this challenge, but a lot of students go back to this wrong answer A. They say correct answer is A, mister, this is absolutely wrong solution, we solve this like that, this is a correct solution, but in math we should know what is the correct order, and this is a very bad order of operation, because subtraction, then division, this is very bad order of operation. With parentheses, you can do this, you can do this with parentheses, then you should subtract at first in parentheses, Parentheses, then you should subtract right here in parentheses so you can jump wherever you want because parentheses is our first step so you should find all parentheses where you have now in your challenge and you should evaluate the expression inside parentheses okay so then subtraction will have the higher priority than division because of this order of operation because of these parentheses as a first step so but in our case we don't have parentheses forget about this option a this is a really bad solution in terms of math in our case correct answer is option c which is which is a correct solution because we solved it according to a correct order of operation, division, then subtraction. So the correct answer to this challenge, this is option C. So our answer, this is option C. You can easily check this answer in your scientific or graphing calculator, but don't use your regular calculator because, for example, you plug in in, in your regular calculator, 6 minus 3 equal to 3, 3 divided by 6, 1 half, and right here, minus 3, we have minus 2.5. So as you can see, you should put, you should enter the whole entire problem. 
okay so a sophisticated calculator or graphing calculator then you can easily plug in the whole entire problem and 100 percent you'll get the answer of 2.5 okay so this is my explanation to this challenge definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel so with that being said see you in the next videos and have a great day